So today we're having lunch in the trailer. Oh, Nana's recording us. Are we having lunch in the trailer, Tristan? Yep. What do you have for lunch? What? You have... We've got chips. chips. You found the chips. What else? You've got a sandwich. He's got some turkey breast. Mm -hmm. See, we've got to eat that. That's good for you. And what else have we got? Tomatoes? <laughs> do we have tomatoes? And what do you yes. think you have in here? Yeah. Lemonade. Lemonade. Lemonade, yes. So we're having lunch in the trailer today because we can. Cheers. Bye. Hello. Okay, so today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning. And I'm down in the sewing room because I am sewing this morning. I am making something new for the Etsy shop. Yes, I'm opening my Etsy shop up. Um, my Etsy shop, which is Toby Knits, um, has um, usually project bags and stitch markers and stuff like that in there for as knitters. But I'm actually working on some new things that will work for knitters and cross stitches. Anyway, I'm working on them right now. Uh, probably be another week or two before they make it to the shop because some of them I need for this weekend for the cross stitch retreat I'm going on. Actually hosting. I mean, let's be real. Um, so anyway, yesterday, as you knew or saw just now, we had Tristan, so I didn't get much knitting done. Um, we took him to the park in the morning and then we brought him back and we had lunch in the trailer. He loves the trailer. And for the winter, we park it beside the garage um, on our property. We have a huge property. So we park it there and it sits there all winter. And then in the summer, it will go to its campsite where it will live all summer down by the water. So, um, yeah, so when he's here, he just, he loves going in the trailer. So, um, but I wanted to show you where I'm up to with Slip Stravaganza. <clears throat> uh, I did get a little bit done last night after he left and um, wanted to point out to you, I actually ran out of my first main color ball. So um, here I am, I'm on the last bit of the um, wedge, the last gray wedge, and then this side will be finished. The other side is done. So I'm on this last bit, and I am loving the purling, to be honest with you. And Martin of um, 365 Blog and um, Irina of Fiber Chats did a dual podcast yesterday. I'll leave a link to that below. And um, on there, um, they were having a conversation. It was like a Zoom. And they were having a conversation um, with all the other people on YouTube uh, who were watching. It was live. And Martin was saying how he had a really hard time with the pearl in, in his tension and he had to rip it out and figure out how to do it all in garter stitch. And I was scared after I heard him say that because I thought, oh, no, I don't want to faff about changing stuff. And, you know, my, my brain doesn't work very well when it comes to math in the first place. So, oh, so I was really nervous when I started on my pearl site. So thanks, Martin. Um, but anyway, it turned out not to be at all a worry because my attention is the same. And then, so the point I'm getting to here, obviously I've, I'm rabbiting and my, uh, um, I'm jiggling my table too. I'm very sorry about that. Mm, no, not really. I'll take my hands off the table so I don't jiggle it. Um, so what he mentioned in his blog yesterday, in his um, video yesterday, which I thought was, oh, it was like a light bulb moment went off in my head. He has only been knitting, um, I don't know, um, obviously not as long as me, I'm way older than he is. <laughs> so, and I've been knitting since I was little and my grandmother taught me how to knit and my grandmother told me, or taught me how to knit on straight needles. And whenever we did knit and purl, it was on a straight needle. Martin was saying, and I mentioned all this also to Irina, cause she interviewed me for Fiber Chats. I'll leave that 
link below too. Go check that one out. And um, she, I was telling her that I only started using, um, what do we call these again? Uh, circular needles. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've only started using circular needles in about the past nine years since I started shawl knitting. I've never used them before, ever. Not even when I knit socks. I didn't even know Magic Loop thing exists. In fact, I only knitted socks about 10 years ago for the first time. I always knit jumpers and uh, cardigans and stuff like that. And I knit them on straight needles, always, and then seamed them. That's how I was taught and I didn't know anything about this. So the point I'm trying to get at here as I ramble away, is that my tension for purl is fine because I'm used to purling a lot more than somebody that uses circular needles and is always knitting in the round with knit stitches. So, yeah, you see, it pays to be old sometimes. So anyway, yes, that's what I managed to get done last night um, after he left. Um... I didn't get a lot done because he really makes me tired. Never stops talking, that child. Never. And um, he's just always on the go. He's always on the go. Well, you know, as they are. Thank God I only have him once a week. <laughs> At one time, I did have him three times a week. But that was like, oh. But he was also littler then and um, didn't do an awful lot of, you know, crawling was his big effort then. But now, like, oh, he's into everything, gabbles and talks nonstop, and it's nana, nana. And if I pay no attention to him, which occasionally I do, um, he yells at me. <laughs> I get, nana, nana, nana! <laughs> so it's kind of like, oh, what? <laughs> you know, anyway. Uh, so, yes, today, this morning, I am going to be doing some more of my... Um, sewing and then tonight I shall be doing some more knitting and I'm hoping to get that finished um that garter ridge and start on the um cables I actually do like doing cables but I just still having a really weird time with how it fits in that position on the shawl I'm just because I, I don't know where we're going with this so I don't even know if it's going to fit and I did peek at clue three already because because I'm miles behind and um I don't even understand clue three it looks like a nice quick fast easy knit when I ever finally get to it but I can't I don't even understand how that's going to tie into the whole thing it's just a mystery okay catch you later bye all day getting ready for the retreat I'm hosting with Diana on um, the weekend. It's a it's a cross stitch retreat, <sighs> and then I've just had a very stressful five minutes. Well, it was more like half an hour of stress. My husband was trying to book me some flights, and I did it. <laughs> <laughs> to go see Sean and Megan and little Leo, the lovely Leo, in um, December for Leo's first birthday. It was terribly stressful. We booked it all once. And then, oh, I got to go. Okay, sorry, that was Sean. Um, <clears throat> so it's very stressful because we booked it all once and then we... Um, when we got the confirmation, it said we had to pay for carry-on baggage. So we canceled that one. And then we went to book it again a second time. And oh, there was all kinds of faffing about going on. So I actually took my knitting and went into the bedroom and left Bob to it. It's way easier, way easier. But he got it sorted out. So I am going to see them in December just for about five days, but at, at for Leo's first birthday. So that's so exciting. Um, yes, and um, so where am I at with this? I did finish my other wing. And um, 
so I started putting on the, um, for the cables. Now I did it once and then I did two rows. I was on the third row and realized they weren't all lining up where they were supposed to line up. And so I took them all out and when I was in the bedroom <laughs> hiding and I'm starting again. So I am now on, I've done all the pickup and I'm just on the second row where we're trying to make sure that all those little things match. <laughs> I said to him, let me just do this. God, he says, what about supper? I'm like, I'm getting in a minute, go. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyway, so this is where I'm at. So tonight I'm hoping to get some good knitting in on this um, and at least get part way through this first cable leg side. You know what I mean? So that's the plan. But right now, um, I'm gonna go make supper apparently. I think we're having shrimp alfredo tonight. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Hello, <clears throat> it's Thursday morning. I just got back in from taking Toby for a walk and my glasses are a little bit steamed up because it's freezing outside. Um, yesterday was 22, today's eight. Um, anyway, I guess fall is here. Um, so yeah, um, it's freezing and, but it's lovely and sunny out, which is, you know, nice too. Um, so I just watched while I was sitting in bed with my cup of tea, Clue 4 drop for the Stephen West, uh, mystery knit along. And I think I like it. I think I really like it. I really wasn't sure about the part I'm doing right now. So, cause I'm miles behind, I'm still on clue two. <clears throat> and I did last night manage to start to get some of my gorgeous um, cables started. So this is the start. I have, I think three repeats to do. I think, I think this is almost the end of repeat one. I have one row left of repeat one. And then I think we start all over again and do four so that they start to twist on each other. Aren't they lovely? Look at them. These are antler cables and uh, here, and these are a twist that come out of here. Anyway, I'm really enjoying that. Oh, the sun is blowing that out. Let me turn this way a bit. Maybe that'll help. I'm not even sure if that's helping. Anyway, oh, that sun is just so bright. Um, yeah, so I wasn't sure if I liked the point or could I even understand the point of these. I got all the rest. I'm loving how the rest of it goes. But we get to use the these stitches in the last clue. And um, we make this middle bit longer. I'm not going to tell you how. You're just going to have to wait and see. Um, but of course, you're going to have to wait a long time because I have to finish this off, do one on the other side, and then do clue three. Oh, this might be finished for Christmas. On the other hand, it might not. The first one I did took me until December or January. I think I did manage to get that one finished by the end of December. So it took me three months, and that was huge. Um, the one last year... I got as far as about January, February, really. then I got bored um, because it was the, the last part was very monotonously long. So I got bored and I put it away. But then I did get it back out again right before this one started so I could finish it off. And it didn't really take me that long to finish. I was just being a, you know, crybaby. Um, so yeah, so now I am... Um, I can have one more night of knitting this and then I'm off to the cross stitch retreat so I won't be taking my knitting with me. Why you ask? Because I've got so many cross stitches to work on because they've been all left because of this. So they need some catch up left time. Um, so these, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try to finish at least this uh, one section tonight 
and um, and then uh, it gets put away just for the weekend. It'll be back out again next week. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have a cup of tea now, make myself an English muffin, I think. And uh, yeah, I've got to make, what am I making today? Instant Pot Chicken Taco Chili for the girls at the retreat. So I'm making that today to take with me. And I'm also making some muffins. But I ran out of um, chocolate chip and banana, in case you want to know. And um, I ran out of oil, vegetable oil. And at my Walmart yesterday, like, there was no oil anywhere on the shelf. It's like, is this the toilet paper thing now? There's no oil. There was no almond oil. There was no uh, vegetable oil, no saffron. There was, like, no oil on the shelf. Weird. I know. I know. I know. Anyway, I sent Bob out to get some from another place. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make my English muffin. I'm starving. Okay, bye. Oh, yummy chocolate chip and banana. And then in here. Oh, look at that yummy loveliness. Mm. Ladies, you're getting spoiled. did have a little bit of a nap this afternoon. Uh, I just got back from my weekend cross-stitch retreat with the most lovely ladies ever. Um, I'll put a picture here so you can see us doing our thing. And we had a fabulous time, really, really great time. And I cross-stitched all weekend. So I was super excited to get back this afternoon and do some knitting. And of course, F1 was on, because it was in Mexico. So I got to do a bit of knitting. Let me show you where I'm up to. And I have three more rows to go before I cast off this side, this section. And so I'm really loving it. It's hard to see with the light there. Is that better? You get to see the twists and the turns and the these are antler cables apparently I have no idea what these are and we're going to do something interesting with these antler cables in the next clue maybe um so yeah so I'm really excited with that so that's how my week has been with twists and turns let me know below if you want me to continue this on because technically twists and turns is over <laughs> And I'm still on clue too. So if you want me to keep going with this little, uh, you know, then let me know. So please like and subscribe. Don't forget to tell all your mates about it. I'm really sorry I didn't do a Quilty Fun on Friday, by the way. Um, I was just too busy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, have a wonderful week, everybody. And I'm going to go get something to eat now. Okay, bye.